Hey everyone, Chris here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. Happy start to the 2021 snow and avalanche season. Uh, Barney and I are traveling here in the South San Juan in the Coal Bank Pass area. We're here on a north aspect right about 11,600 feet and we're finding about 16 inches of new snow that's fallen in the last 36 hours. Areas that we've traveled today we found drifting up to three feet deep. Walking across this low angled open slope, we got significant collapse with some cracking. And when doing multiple extended column tests, we got the new snow to fail on top of old weak facets from our end of October storm. This old October snow is really variable across northerly facing terrain. Slopes where we found this old snow to be non-existent or very thin, we're finding generally good stability, a little cracking in some wind-loaded areas. But overall, slopes that don't have this snow are showing signs of better stability at the moment. However, these slopes where this old weak snow is thick and soft, there's a lot of evidence that we have a very reactive snowpack. So thinking out to a bigger slope, if we find places where this combination exists, steeper terrain, bigger terrain, these are the types of slopes in the snowpack structure we want to avoid moving forward as we start to build more of a slab with snow and wind in the next 24 hours.